This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Byrne. Here's your Eyewitness News webcast on this Friday, June 22nd. Let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. Hey there, Kelly, and a little bit of a cooler day today that's coming our way. That's thanks to some cloud cover that's making its way in and a couple of rain showers. Temperatures will be into the lower and the mid 70s, which is going to put us below average for this time of year. Now we have a couple of showers that are coming through this morning. There'll be a few more we'll be dodging this afternoon, but it's not going to be an all day soaker. You can see by that lunch hour, 12 o'clock, the cloud cover is really taking over at this point and we have some rain showers coming through. Looks like the bulk of that rain will stick back into central Pennsylvania for much of today, but things are pretty scattered in nature, so we'll still get to find plenty of dry time. So just keep an eye of the sky as we dodge those showers today. 74 for the high in the eyewitness weather forecast and when we don't have the rain showers, the cloud cover will be taking over. 60 tonight, 70 tomorrow with scattered showers and a thunderstorm will push to 80 on Sunday and get some more rain through the afternoon, Kelly. All right, Stefano, thank you. A toddler is in the hospital after being rescued from a pool at a Lackawanna County home. A crews were called to a home on 13th Avenue in Scranton around 7 o'clock last night for a possible drowning. When emergency officials arrived, they immediately began CPR on the little girl. It's unknown how long she was underwater in the pool, and we're told the girl's grandfather found her and pulled her out of the water. There is no word on her condition at this time. A business affected by last week's tornado in Luzerne County will begin the demolition process today. Kerlanchik Home Furnishing Showroom and Warehouse in Milksbury Township was destroyed by the EF2 tornado. And today, the family-owned business on Monday Street will be torn down. The company has set up a temporary office and warehouse on South Wyoming Avenue in Edwardsville. The merchandise inside that store was ruined, but they say new merchandise will be delivered next week. Those are today's top headlines. Have a great Friday.